ndeta okana kana kongera yange okena uju hakato enjo diti ufiku kombe potanga vele onka okoshike beti kondika ya kolujo asiketi tatulaja kona tango ni kama ni kata ni koskola tika pungake kwa wano adopi mongolo ya kolujo na tango Tell us your name, where you came from, and your testimony. Uh, my name is Toivo Jens. Um, I came from Ongwediva, and I'm here to testify and give glory to what God did through His servant, Apostle Shonde. Toivo Jens, uh, I had a problem of having bad dreams where in those dreams I would be seeing some of my classmates and vomiting and seeing scorpions that are going under my bed. When I woke up from those dreams, I used to have a swollen right shoulder and my wrist because I was not writing properly. And when I had those dreams, I woke up and went directly to my mom. When I went to my mom, she applies anointed oil on my forehead and says she covers me in the blood of Jesus Christ. And where were uh, those anointing oil or where does your mother get anointing oil from? She gets them from here, the Apostle Shombe Ministries. That is why I am privileged to have her here and she worships here. Hello. Anotati, me mama jo haku fa poshi tumalo ngasha Apostle Shombe. Shosho na mo na nefilo mi ndash ashi me moa opo hinyo kame napa. Continue. The, the dreams that I had stopped when she applied anointed oil on my forehead and played a video of Apostle Shombe praying. Hano enjo jojo tiotea ke hulilo e shalongi foma jeva ekomo mpolo ange ne teiri kane nenge nao no kwa uri kilango ka video ka Apostle Shombe teiri kana. After that, the swelling in my shoulder and my wrist still continued. Until Wednesday when I was at school I got an, I got into an accident where one of my classmates hit me with a brick on my knee. And when I went to the doctor, the doctor told me that my knee was very swollen 
and he needed support. That is why I was using this crutch because he gave it to me. And the thing that I want to tell you, 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 the thing that I want to tell you. When I came on yesterday for one on one with Apostle Shombe, the thing that I know I'm going to go one on one and discuss the problem with Apostle Shombe. He prayed for me as he placed his head on my knee and my shoulder and said, "You should stand up. You are healed. You are free." Halom pia mwenye apostol shamba kwa hili kana nange shate ni kange ke ke pepe nange de no kongolo de talo mwenye nyekucho no kufika ma de tuende shasho amanguruka. After he prayed for me, I put my crutch in the air like this. And walked around and said, "Thank you, Jesus Christ. I am free. I can now move my knee. I can jump. I can walk around." Your hands, as she continue to demonstrate the power of the Lord Jesus Christ in her life. After, after that also the pain and the swollenness on my shoulder and my wrist also disappeared and I slept very well and I thanked God Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yo tati kwenye mashere vitani mano timbe yali me pepe no moshike sho ya kana po the na shaya ke umbo waka kofa na wa. So now that you are no longer going to use a crutch, are you leaving it behind, or you are still going with it? Eni fene shine emangu itali longi fene vali na tango toshu na nalo nengo aluke longi fene tango nengo aluli fio. I am going to give it back to the doctor to show him that yes, I am now healed. Hallelujah! And we want to thank God Almighty that you have that privilege of having a mother who worships in this ministry. So, what are your words of encouragement to the people watching you right now? My words of encouragement is that the fear that I got from these dreams, I took a verse from Psalms 91 verse 5 to 6. And they state, You will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalk in the shadows, nor the plague that destroys at midday. From these verses, I learned that you should not be afraid because Jesus is with you. You should pray and you should have faith that yes, I am protected.